Welcome back. Um, I figured just because there's four of these, I needed a little bit more time than... And I didn't want the video to be obnoxiously long. Um, so yeah, we'll start with the basic rear Ripley. Um, I don't like basic figures. Um, but again, I felt that I had to get it for the fact of... It was her first figure. I don't know if these are supposed to be based off of the same attire. It kind of looks like it. Uh, and they really, you can tell that they just don't care about their basic line. Like, this is ridiculous. You couldn't have painted on all this stuff on these? It's bad. Um, and I also noticed, too... There's definitely a tattoo right there, and I don't know, looks like a, I don't know, but the Elite does not have it on either of the hands. Does anyone know why that is? If you do, please comment below. So, yeah, uh, but yeah, the basic's awful. Uh, this will be going into my bin of I got it because it was their first figure. And with that being said, let's get into the Elite, which is, holy cow, just night and day difference. Uh, the head sculpt, I think, is much better. I'll probably see if I can... Yeah, I got that off. There we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, the head sculpt's awesome. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the... Whatever, micro, whatever it is. Um... But I really like it. Um, the shirt looks really good. The articulation's awesome. I did see, too, that, like, they're going to start doing double-jointed elbows on all elites, including the female elite. So they'll have double-jointed knees and elbows, which is super cool. Um, I like that she comes with the rock-on hands. That's a really good feature. Um, I hope we do get another Rhea Ripley once they do, like, the double-jointed elbows. I assume we would, because she's super popular still. Uh, definitely one of my favorite female, uh, wrestlers right now. Um, but yeah, the detailing on, like, her tights and the boots is super fantastic. I like the choker. I like that we get the ties in the back. Um, I am just kind of curious, like, why... Why does the basic have the little tattoo and this one does not on either hand? Um, super cool. The jacket, too, that she comes with, the entrance jacket, is also pretty detailed. Um, I like this a lot. It's got the flag on the back. I think that's a really cool detail that they kept instead of just, you know, saying it got a cost cut. 2020 Mattel new mold which is nice obviously um i probably think i might keep her like this just because i prefer her in a wrestling gear than like the entrance gear that's just how i am um and i don't know if i'm gonna keep these hands or if i'm gonna switch them to the fist hands um but yeah she come with those those have the nails painted black so yeah great figure definitely should pick it up Again, I got all these figures, wrestling figures. I got these all from ringsidecollectibles.com. Uh, Just use discount code MAJOR to get 10% off. Uh, we'll do Jeff next. Uh, Jeff Hardy. This is Elite 84. Um, he has the new tattoo on his back, which is super cool. Um, yeah, it's... An awesome addition. I like that they got a new figure out. Um, and it wasn't just because of a new face paint. Was, they actually did like the whole new tattoo and everything. I know there's a chase figure for this Jeff. Um, without the tattoo and the red face paint from I believe the Royal Rumble. Um, I actually custom painted that one myself. Like almost two years ago. And I'll show that in a later video. If I ever decide to get the chase. Um, the face paint's really cool. And I honestly was kind of debating head swapping it for a face paintless Jeff Hardy. Um, but I don't know now because I really like this one after opening it. I will admit, I, why is the hair short? This is just the like Elite 57 head still, 
why don't we have a new head scan with the longer hair? His hair's been longer than this for quite some time now. Uh, great figure. I am probably going to put these in for now. Just because we're moving, so I can't really display him. <laughs> Um, which is, you know, I should really just stop buying until we move, but that's not going to happen. He comes with this cool shirt. Well, I say cool. Um, hard plastic. That's irritating, especially when literally we got Edge in the last Wave 83, and he comes with a cloth shirt. They couldn't have done that for Jeff. Um... So this this probably won't go on him. This will probably go right into my accessory bin. Um, but yeah, great Jeff. I would definitely pick it up if you get the chance to. Um, and on to the last one. This one I really had a hard time debating with myself if I was going to open it or not. Because this one has the two sweet hands. Um, and he's supposed to come with like the rock on hands. Which I know that they said there was supposed to be a running change with that. Uh, so I really battled opening this, but I just, I'm a let him breathe guy, so I needed to let it breathe. And I'll know, and YouTube will know with this footage, that I was one of the ones that got a too sweet one before they fixed it. Uh, this new head scan is amazing compared to, like, the older ones. Um, like, let's let's just look. So this is my, I think this is my wrestling, yeah. This is my wrestling accessory bin. I got this at Walmart, just for anyone that might be curious. So, let's just take a quick look at an older, what the older Edge head looks like. Uh, so this is from the Edge Heads 3-pack. I don't, I think it looks okay, but it's not Edge compared to like what we have now is astonishing. Um, this head is so much better than this. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I love the detail. Obviously, I'm going to have to add some silver on the boots. The circles on the elbow pads are going to need to be colored in. Um, and I'm debating if I want to do a torso swap or not to make it accurate because Edge doesn't look like that. He's quite a bit more jacked. Um... Overall, though, this is a fantastic figure. Um, I am going to get the ultimate. That depicts him coming back at the Royal Rumble after nine years. Um, and that should be good as well. So I'm excited to have this and everything that came with it. Great figures. Again, if you're looking to buy wrestling figures and can't find them in stores, which seems to be an around-the-world thing lately, and it's freaking ridiculous... Uh, head over to ringsidecollectibles.com or wrestlingfigures.com, I think. Wrestling, I don't know, something like that. I just say ringside collectibles. Go there. Uh, use discount code MAJOR to save 10% on all your orders. Um, yeah, awesome stuff. Figures are great. Um, I'm really happy with all of them, except for the basic Rhea Ripley. I think that one's really like a just blah. Um, but it was her first figure, so I got it because... I get mostly everyone's first figure that comes out, so, or I try to. Um, but yeah, again, use code MAJOR for discount. I'll always plug the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. Um, yeah, so I hope everyone's having a good year so far. I know we're still in, you know, COVID everywhere, and people are complaining about the mask still, but if it helps keep someone from getting sick, we should definitely do it. Um, especially because it can help us as well. So keep an eye out for the figures in Walmarts and Targets, of course, especially I know like AEW figures are coming to Target now. Um, they've been showing up. I, I found a couple, but I didn't buy them um, here in Castle Rock, Colorado. But yeah, uh, we'll be doing like a full takedown of my bookshelf soon of wrestling figures. And hopefully when we move into the new place, I'll be doing a full remodel of where my figures are and everything. So uh, keep an eye out for that video. Have you guys have a good night. Bye. <laughs>